my name is Anissa and today I'm going to give you a few study hacks to help you get through university. Hack number one, go to your lectures. Although the lecture slides and most of the content is available online, you really don't want to miss the bits of information that the lecturers give you that isn't written down. There are a lot of advanced theories that you learn in a chemistry degree and it can get complicated and so this is the perfect time for you to ask any questions, discuss the contents and get a better understanding of the topic in general. And you can't do this from home even if you have a lecture recording. A lot of the students will write the notes down separately or even just annotate the lecture slides to help them jog their memory later on. Hack number two is going over the content in a way that suits you best and being consistent with it. Or studying. University is not like school. You can't just memorise the information and regurgitate it at the exam. I mean, maybe you could, but it would be a lot of time and effort and very unrealistic. It's better to try and just understand it. And it would be better for you in the long term run, especially if you want a career in science. However, different people have different studying techniques and it's up to you to find out which method is most efficient for you. For example, I like to use flashcards. I think it's really helpful in testing my knowledge from time to time and I separate the ones that I get incorrect so I can come back to them later. Another good method to help if you keep on forgetting things is using post-it notes. If you place them in a place where you frequent, such as the bathroom mirror when you are brushing your teeth or on your bedroom wall when you are studying above your desk, um, the more you read them, the more likely they will become part of your core memory. A good visual method is using mind maps. Um, it's great to link one thing to another and a lot of our modules will overlap, so this is quite helpful in that case. In some of our end of module tests, we're allowed to bring one sheet of paper and if you fill them with key notes, hopefully one glance will help you remember the rest. Another good method is teaching. Um, it's great to help you relay what you do know and separate that from what you don't know. At Queen Mary, we can book study rooms to help do group sessions. And so you can teach your course friends. And even if you don't have anyone to teach, you could just teach yourself or a stuffed animal. Hack number three is be prepared. And this constitutes a few things. Firstly, you have to be organised. You have to have some sort of a plan. If you leave all of your revision up to spontaneity, it's unlikely to work out and there could be a lot of catching up to do later. I like to use to-do lists. Um, some people like to use those organising planners or you could even just use a simple timetable really. Some people like to work on lectures as soon as they're done with because it's fresh on their mind uh, and others like to relax. So as long as you know what you're doing, you're good to go. Another thing is making sure you have found your own space, whether that's your bedroom at home or studying at the library, whether you like to listen to music or studying in silence, make sure your environment is optimum to you. Also, don't forget your resources. There's no point going to the library for a good long study session and finding out you've left your textbook or your laptop at home. Um, it's just going to waste your time. And lastly, I like to have a lot of snacks on hand when I'm revising. If my belly is empty, it just distracts me. So make sure you have plenty of water and not just sugary sweets around you. And if you don't have any food, make sure there's some place nearby that you can pick something up. Queen Mary's campus is surrounded with lots of food places around on and off campus. Hack number four is to take meaningful breaks. And I don't just mean going on social media or hanging out with friends. Yes, it's definitely good to relax as well. But sometimes when I'm finding it difficult to focus, I like to do something else that I enjoy. Um, studies show that exercising can really help increase productivity. And I like to weightlift and do some yoga. And sometimes when I'm at the gym, I often find epiphanies while I'm working out of something that I was thinking about when I was studying earlier. 
I also like to bake or cook and these things really just help take down the stress levels and relax you a little bit. Even if it's just going for a walk, um, such as going by the canal side at Queen Mary. Hack number five is practice. In order to be fully confident in the knowledge you have learnt at university, you need to be able to apply it elsewhere. And that means questions. A lot of the lecturers will post questions at the end of each lecture so that you can go over that topic in particular. There are also recommended reading and questions at the end of these chapters. There are also the assignments that you do throughout the year, the end of module tests and even exam papers from previous years. All of this is there to help you. So please use all of these resources. I hope you learned something today and good luck.